Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's select board meeting. Um, I just got back from a short vacation, so if I seem a little not here, I'm still on vacation probably, so don't worry about it. Um, one of my <laughs> select board members will get me going. So uh, make a quick note here. Can I get the video? Yeah. Okay, Okay. so we'll get started. So we have our consent agenda tonight. We have the minutes from September 30th, warrant, warrants 18, 18S, 18A, and 31. <clears throat> we have the Bay State Municipal Accounting Group contract vote to sign that. So moved. Second. Yeah, all right, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we have uh, no appointments tonight, and is there anybody here for our open public comment period? You're actually on the agenda. Okay. Yes. So, no public comment? Okay. Um, so before we start the agenda, um, I know we're going to talk about meetings coming up, but Excuse me, I have to come. This is about the town meeting uh, warrant. Yeah. I was looking for the 2016 budget as it had been approved at the spring meeting, and I couldn't find it. Um, it doesn't seem to be posted anywhere. I actually spoke to her this lady this morning, and what we have posted online is the doings, which just has the actual amount. Um, I'm more than happy to provide you with an itemized copy, as I told you on the phone today. It's not actually posted on there. It's like a three page or the line item with every single item. Okay. I normally don't put that online. It's in the permanent record book, but it's not on the online version. But I can get you that. Can you post that? <coughs> well, she'll, she'll just get it, give it to you. But I mean, I, I I'll, I'll be more than happy to take requests, and if that's something people are looking for, I can absolutely do that. What? You can post it? I think it should be posted before the. You know, we have so this is asking for what was actually passed and doing at the last town meeting. Yeah, whatever the, the official budget item. is right now, line item. Well, there FY there is no, actually there is no line item. We vote a budget. The line item is something else we use internally. And it's it's only what, that's not the official vote. The official vote is the, Correct. is the items. The not the items, the actual totals. General fund, so much water enterprise so much, sewer enterprise so much. That's how it's, that's what's actually voted. You see it when you come to town meeting broken down lines, but that's not truly what's voted. What's voted and what's posted is the actual vote, which are those numbers combined. So if you want the line item numbers, the clerk's willing to get that for you separately. I'm actually going to, I don't understand why we wouldn't just post it on the website. What's well, the? if we posted the budget separately from the clerk's page, we yeah. could do that. But in the yeah. clerk's page, she's posting only what's officially. under warrants and under doings. Yeah. So oh. Doings is more of a simple simple version right. of everything that was voted at town meeting. Yeah. I, no, I completely understand what you're doing, Jess. I, I'm just saying. Yep. So if we, we wanted have... to post it, we'd have to post it somewhere else under like. Right. A, a and it would board. normally be under like town accountant or town administrator. Just somewhere. Or so. town, yeah. yeah. So. That's what you, you just want it on the website somewhere. Somewhere that, yeah. that it's easy to find. Mm -hmm. you know, people can find it if they want to look for yeah. it. I'm not going to guarantee it's easy to find. <laughs> well, I'm not, I mean, why not call it the budget Wait, or we, yeah. town yeah. meeting? It's easy to find we can, or we town can, meeting. Yeah, or we can post this thing. This is not a problem. Yeah, but uh, I was just doing a little fishing around in our website and I. I see the aggregate number, but uh, yeah, you're looking for the detail. We mm -hmm. can do that for you. Mm -hmm. I'll probably give you a copy of it before you leave the building tonight. What some people think is an easy to understand we website. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, someone always says they can't understand it or find something. So <laughs> my, my new term for people is it's on the website. Um, well, it should be easy to find. I mean, I know I, I think you're working on a system to make the whole budget more accessible. Exactly. And correct? Right, exactly. So, I mean, until that's in place, though, at least having it somewhere. Yeah, I agree. 
Although I think you're missing the point. Everyone thinks websites are easy. They're not I always totally easy. have your point. Just okay. No, but I see websites where you can find the budget much more easily. Than. It's not that hard. Okay, so um, before we start, so the school committee wants us to wants to do their SWAT at their November second school committee meeting. Um, so they can have everything there. I cannot attend the November second meeting. What day is I'm that? I'm out of town. That's okay. a Monday. Oh. I work 99. To be determined, I don't know. Okay, so I'll let them know that doesn't work for. Can they? Um, I, it, the least. it must be completed. I am. That's why I'm asking. Okay. Can they send it to us? Uh, I'll see. I'll tell them the second doesn't work for us. And then but if we could get it in way. advance, too, it would be helpful. Because okay. I'm imagining there's a somewhat more detailed than mm -hmm. other town departments. Are we having a um, maybe a tri board meeting on that Wednesday? I think we're going to talk first, about that today. first Wednesday. So I mean, well, if we could have it for that night here, we still have some of our mm -hmm. town departments to do yeah. left over. Right. right. Yeah. So you've got human services and culture and recreation are still still to be done. Okay. Okay. So. With that being said, we'll go ahead and start old business. And our first old business is to take our formal vote to lay out Laurel Drive to Holly Road. So. So uh, we did the, uh, the site visit to both Laurel Drive and Holly Road last Thursday. Um, Ms. Keegan was good enough to be representing the uh, select board. Mike Klobowski was there, and Brandy Iser, myself. Uh, we were met by residents of both roads at both locations. Uh, we drove or walked the length of each road, uh, and uh, it seems pretty straightforward. There was a question lingering from the last meeting about the ownership of, uh, of Holly Road, and uh, it was confirmed that Mr. Roberts is now representing that he does not own Holly Road. Okay. So who does? We need to figure it out. Or someone needs to figure it out. I thought we were so represented that he did own it. We were. I spoke to him and he said that he had spoken to his attorney, Peter McConnell, and that he does not own the road. As soon as the last part of parcel was sold, it reverts to the owners on either side of the whoever fronts the road. At the walkthrough, Randy said that they could pre. Oh, and Peter also said that you guys could just take the road by virtue of what's in the county registry of deeds. Because all these folks have done title searches and banks have done title searches, and some of these houses have been sold three and four and five times, and the title searches have been at ad infinitum. And he said, all you have to do is take the road, just like they did in, in uh, Northampton. So, so you had conversations. So I talked to the city of Northampton. They took about 20 to 25 roads at one point. Some of these roads, uh, the the owners were truly unknown. They'd been uh, roads in place for a very long time. There were utilities placed down the roads, somewhat akin to what we have with the sewer easement on Holly Road. And so long as they had a plan, which we do for Holly Road. Uh, they were able to go ahead and take the road by uh, eminent domain. So, is there any preference in how we do this? I my preference. Prefer, well, I was going to say, I mean, there, there are two options. One is to go ahead and pay the cost of having a title search done. Right, or doing it by eminent domain. So I guess my question is at this point, you know, how much risk are we at by not doing a title search? Although um, it seems pretty minimal based on the input from the planning board, Mike Klamoski, Barry Roberts. Um, I mean, I would think that the have the least resistance unless somebody says that there is more risk that I'm not understanding but be to take it by eminent domain but just be done with it. I have a quick question please. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dwyer I realize you're here tonight and, and part of the planning board and I think we'd be remiss 
if we didn't ask you, it, it's not my understanding that when the last lot is sold on a road currently, that the build that the uh, to the center or the road is owned by the people on the street. Can you tell me if that's true today? Uh, generally not, because more people are aware of something called the derelict fee statute. But that is uh, part of Mass General Laws, and it does say that if uh, on private property, if a, <clears throat> a lot is described as running along a street, then ownership goes to the center of the street. Um, that was the way it was done historically, and the derelict fee was, uh, statute was in there to get the Barry Roberts of the world out of the picture. They don't, didn't want to have someone hanging on to a road um, just without any real interest in any of the adjoining property. But um, it depends entirely on how you word the deed. I did a spot check of uh, deeds on Holly Road, and all of the ones that I came across did describe it as being along the road, which meant that title passed to the center of the road. Now that doesn't apply in every circumstance. If you were to do a deed of today being along Route 9, you don't get title to the center of Route 9 because you as an abutter don't own it. But a developer, when he lays something out, has to be careful in how those first deeds go out. And we have the flip side of the issue on some other streets where the developer did retain the rights to the roadbed, but is now gone. Um, but in this case, uh, yes, the under the standards and practices of the time when this was laid out, things were done you know, with less precision than we would have liked to see today. Thank you. So my preference is to go ahead and do the deed search now. Two reasons. One, we have members who, residents of the street who have been told, who have told us they never even knew the street was a private way. They always were told it was a public way. Um, so if someone actually did a D title search and they came up with the fact that it was a public way, I question that title search and that transfer. So I would like to know completely now what it is. Um, second, I think we should do a title search is because our attorneys are gonna probably make us do a title search even if we take it by eminent domain. So we might as well just get it out of the way and have it resolved now. Could, could I add one more point? Uh, I did speak with Joel Bard at some length about this, and there is a middle ground whereby the, uh, the town can lay out the road, but not actually take it, just say it is now a public way. <clears throat> and uh, you might want to uh, discuss that in more detail with uh, town council. Um, I don't think that necessarily affects your vote today to lay out the road, um, but you might want to just get a little more detail on that as an option. Uh, Joel said that in some parts, especially of eastern Massachusetts, where the roads have been in existence for three and four hundred years, the uh, ownership is a little murky in some areas. So the vote today is predicated upon a town meeting uh, acceptance. So your vote today can occur and should occur because we're down to the 11th hour with respect to the legal timing. We have to take the vote and then turn the, uh, the paperwork over to Ms. Specknable tonight in order to have a, the, uh, even the opportunity of having a, uh, a valid vote at uh, town meeting. You, taking the vote tonight is predicated upon a town meeting uh, acceptance. There's, so far as I know, there's no timeline uh, that would uh, expire if you took your vote and then for some whatever reason you couldn't take a vote next Thursday night on this uh, on either of these roads and, and then defer it to the spring town meeting. So meaning that we could vote on it tonight, continue to authorize you to have discussion with our town council, right, 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 and get all of that cleared up between now and October 22nd. Right. And if on October 22nd it's not a um, clear. favorable or clear cut mm -hmm. pathway, right. then we would explain that at town meeting. Right. But no vote tonight means no vote next Thursday. 
so does the board understand? Mm -hmm. I don't understand what a vote to lay out means. A vote just means we accept the lines that were shown on the plan, which we do have, mm -hmm. and we accept that the road is is where it's, they say it is, basically. Maybe Mr. Dwyer might want to add something to that? No, that, that was that's a very good summary. Thank you. Just to, to, to kind of hit the same thing again is that when the surveyors surveyed to put the sewer in, like they surveyed it to the pins that were there. You know, so the street's layout is the street's layout. The town accepted it to put the sewer in. We accepted where the sewer went, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you accepted the shape of the street. We didn't accept this. I don't think the sewer plan actually shows the whole street as being where the sewer goes. I think the sewer is only shown where there's a sewer easement, is what I understand. Mm -hmm. It runs down the street. So we accepted that sewer <coughs> easement as being where the sewer is, not the street. Well, yeah, and the storm drains are placed on the side of the road. You know, so you kind of said, well, this is the side of the road. Somebody said, well, you know, so many feet from here is you know, where this storm drain is going to be, and it happened to be the side of the road. So. I understand. So is there any other questions or concerns? We're going to take maybe a vote tonight to lay out the roads and keep this moving forward. Are we voting individually or collectively? Uh, are we doing a separate vote for Laurel and a separate vote for Holly? However the motions come. I'll, be, I'll take them either way. Okay, then, then I'm, uh, then can we continue? There's other issues after that vote is taken. No, there's not other issues. There's other, other step. The other step is to go to town meeting. And then no, I mean, I want to speak to the issue of the, the title search. Would now be the time or after you take this vote? Well, if you want it on sure. the agenda for next week, we no, have no, to no, take the a, vote. No, no, I just mean now this whole the, go ahead and the discussion of title I'm okay. search. Just go ahead and do it now. Because this has been a hot mess. <laughs> And it's been eight months now, and it looks like we're going to miss another town meeting deadline on this. The way Northampton did it, according to what um, Peter McConnell told me, is that they did a very abbreviated title search, which might be able to happen before town meeting. And they just did the current owners. They just verified the current owners and any steps that have been taken under the current ownership. And that was it, and you know, identified the banks that would need to be notified of a taking. And the town, I, I believe their, their solicitor did it, and it was quick, because it's just, you know, it's not a 20 year search, it's not a 40 year <coughs> search. And that, that might actually be able to happen in a week, whereas the full title search is probably won't, and we're gonna, we would miss another opportunity of town meeting. So, I understand that, but being, you can hit me anytime you want to, um, I understand that, but we've asked several times for proof to come forward and we've been told different things from the members who live on the street. Um, so, so please let me finish talking. Um, we talked one time about the members of the, of the street providing the title searches and going ahead and doing part of this and getting it moving forward so that we can show to the members of Hadley that you are progressing and pushing forward this project as much as the rest of the, you know, that you're actually supporting this and putting something into this project, um, which never came forward. Um, we have been told different things as well about this street. Um, so I am really leery about doing just a, a very short title search. And I'm going to leave it to our town council that he or can direct whoever on his staff to do a full title search and do whatever they need to, whatever they feel is comfortable with this. If it misses, it misses. If it makes it, it makes it. I believe it'll make it. Um, Kaufman and Page is, is pretty good at doing this. I, I would assume they're going to get it all done for town meeting. Um, so. With that being said, um, I believe we'll go to our attorneys, ask them to do a title search, and get everything lined up for the 22nd. And I believe they'll have it for us. 
a yay or a nay about the title. Um, my, I, my point still being said is some people in this room who live on the street have come forward and said they thought, they were told they'd purchased a house on a public way, which is not the case and which needs to be resolved. So the vote tonight will move this forward, which has to be done whether you had a clean title or not. We have to take the vote tonight to lay out the road. And we will take that vote and move forward. And our town council will move forward with what they need to do. When you're talking about title search, do you mean title search of the road? It'll be a title search of the properties, yes. All the properties. And I believe it'll be up to the town council to determine how thorough that needs to be. Well, I was just going to say, I think we want to be clear here. First, I mean, the five of us need to, four. The, four, the four of us need to vote tonight in direct council. And my, my personal opinion is that I would defer to our town council's recommendation on how best to proceed if if he believes there's enough risk that a full full-blown title search is necessary then of course that's what we would want to do to protect the town on the other hand if joel comes back and he's comfortable doing an accelerated abbreviated or whatever you know um search and pursuing eminent domain i would also be comfortable with that so i, I don't want to jump over the recommendation and direct town council specifically. It sounded like you were being a little bit more specific, saying you would you only want a full title search. I personally want to see as much information as he's he, he's going to give me, and I am really questioning a lot of the a lot of what's going on. So whatever, Joel. I mean, I will defer to town council. If town council says this is it. Good, go. I'm fine with that. Because that was the motion I was going to make. I was okay. going to word it that with direction from town council. So any more discussion? I think someone's ready to make a motion. Okay. So I want to make a motion to um, accept, what are we, the, the layout? Yes. Yeah. Layout. Accept the layout of both Holly and Laurel Drive um, with the um, condition that uh, to ensure that we have clear title to Holly Road, that we've been asked the town administrator to discuss the matter with town council um, and defer to his recommendation for further action to assure us clear title. Mm -hmm. Second. Any more discussion? Just a friendly amendment to, to incorporate by reference the formal language of both layouts into the record. Well said. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so we're moving forward. We're still on track. We'll move this to the line, keep it going at town meeting. All right. So you're here for us to sign something? Yeah. Yeah. So, Bridget, the layout, the layout letters need to be signed, and then we need to transmit them to the clerk tonight. So while we need Take a, Take a brief moment, that moment to sign that. I just hope that they knew that even if for some reason it didn't get to town meeting this Thursday, that your road would still be plowed and taken care of during the winter months as it has been. Not so well, that's, that's not patching that, is the question. The potholes yeah. are, I mean, yeah. Miss Katie was yeah. there and saw him mm -hmm. um, yeah. as is the town administrator. It's terrible. And even the DPW, um, Mike, is leery. concerned about what the plows are going to do to go down that road, mm -hmm. to plow it. I mean, you guys are an owner, too, of that road because you have owned the piece of property. Correct. So just like we own to the middle of the road, you own to the middle of the cul-de-sac. So as owners also, you can go up and down that road as many times as you want to, but it is in such poor shape. Um, the plows, as I said, Mike said, I'm, I'm just concerned that the plows are going to get ripped up going up and down that road. Mm -hmm. And children have to walk up that road to go to school every day and get the bus. So if but you're just going to plow... How long have you been living there? Six years. And... I never knew it was a private way. You Your deed know. search it, never told you that was a no, private way? No, we even way. went down to the attorney. No. Attorney there. Abano, he said it doesn't say that this is a private road. I'm the first owner of other than Ken Parker that has got furniture on that road, and I was never told that that was a private road. No. 
But you have been maintaining it for the last 45 years. That was years. my uncle and my cousin. Since so. 1970. It's been patched and it's been plowed. And apparently, in the last two years, as Mike told me from the DPW, they took the money to patch the road and it was diverted to another place. That, these are his words, not mine. The money was diverted, so therefore there is no money in the budget to help patch the road. Which I can understand, except that now we have a road that is, as you saw, terrible. Those huge potholes from the top to the bottom. And as residents, we have nothing except we could buy a $16 bag of cold patch and try to patch them. Which Mike doesn't, this, which which Mike doesn't want because it will rip up the plows even more. Mm -hmm. Mr. Roberts may have some suggestions for you. No, he doesn't own the road. No, I think the I would ask that the town take responsibility to patch it this winter before you start plowing it. It's terrible. I mean, we're trying to figure really out can't how to meet in the middle. That. So I think we're moving along in how to meet in the middle. I think this is the way to go um, to accept the road, to formally accept the road. It's been brought to our attention as not a public way for us to continue to expend public funds on something that's private until we resolve the private public issue is what we need to do and we're heading down that road we'll go to the town meeting we'll resolve the issue and then move forward okay. if it's accepted there if it's i mean Ms. Oh, okay. we can, yeah, so one, one, one step at a time she, yeah uh, we need I'm just right, we're trying to move well, if it doesn't get to town you'll still plow it you won't you won't patch it you won't help us well, wait, that's Basically, no, then we'll have the discussion that's about the patch. Right. That's not on the discussion right now. So okay. one, one step at a time. We're just trying okay. to... So if we don't go to town meeting, we can come back and ask for help to patch it. Sure. Well, you're going to town meeting. Yeah, except I think you want to go to town meeting. Yes. Okay. You're going to town meeting. If you don't get accepted, then you can come back and talk to us. Yes. Okay. If but if the town speaks loudly that they don't want to accept that road, that's your road. Just perfectly clear. If the town speaks on town meeting floor and says that they do not choose to accept the road in the condition that it's in, then you have something that you need to think right. about. And the town is also an owner. And the town, the town is also an owner. So if something happens, which as the attorney for Barry Roberts said, not only will they go after each one of us, but they will go after the town who has the deepest pockets of all. As far as liability. This is Barry Roberts' attorney saying. I was going to say, our carpets aren't too deep right no. now. No, but the liability <laughs> is. The, the liability, because you're an owner. <laughs> have to say that. You're an owner just like I'm an owner of Holly Road. The sewer fund's the owner of part of Holly Road, yes. Well, whoever owns that piece of parcel that you paid $10,000 for, right. where we the pump station we is on. We, we understand, understand that. We really understand. Okay. Yeah, we just have to take this in a logical way. Right. Can, can we also understand, I would like to understand what Mr. Dwyer had said about it becoming a public way if it's not taken? What I said was that uh, town council had suggested there is a process for laying out the road um, without necessarily taking. You know, it's something short of eminent domain. You right. just lay it's out and say this is, this is now a public way. Mm -hmm. um, and I did not go into all of the details with Mr. Bard about all of the ramifications of that, but he just suggested it as a another way to approach it. At the discretion of the town. Correct. I right. think you so vote that would be something that we would have to initiate. You vote to lay it out, the town votes to approve your layout, uh, but you don't necessarily, it's apparently some sort of a middle ground where you just say this is where the road is um, and officially recognizing it but I, I defer to town council for more information on that it's not an issue that we have ever dealt with directly on the planning board other than in this context okay thank you all right so everyone here is for Holly over here right okay so we want to talk about the North Hadley Hall RFP next? Sure. Have we been dismissed? No, <laughs> unless you have something else to say about it. No, you're welcome to stay. I meeting. just wanted to make sure you weren't here for something else. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll skip that for now.
So we have the draft of the RFP. Um, it's still a, it's still probably be in draft form for a little while because we uh, we still have to resolve a couple issues in the historic preservation preservation restrictions. Right. So we have an update on that. They're they're in. They just need to make some decisions. The um, and what they have in is what you have in the packet, and the decisions they have to make are the parts that are kind of highlighted in here. What about the ones with question marks? In the historic preservation? No, just in the RFP itself. In the RFP, that's us to figure out. Okay. So as we talk about the sale of this property, we have um, a couple things going on. How about we start with the minimum price? That was, did you notice that it was 74 for 428 on this buy sell thing? There was a price on it for 428. 428, 400? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not really sure that's the way we say it. We say the assessed value or the appraised value is for right. 28, not the minimum price. Well, well, the you, minimum proposal price is Page number three. Price. So you're going to reject all prices that are. That's, that's a decision that you all get to make. You can set a minimum price. You have to declare a price or a value for the property. But you can still vote for it lower. If you but the point is, no, this if it says minimum, somebody, the it will deter written, people oh, from yes. yes. providing or, a proposal. Or should we merely provide assessed the value. current assessed value is? Right. So that's that's the decision point right here. Is uh, are you by law you have to set a value for the, the mm -hmm. property. You don't have to make your tell people that you will accept. Uh, only bids equal or higher than that. You can take bids lower than that. But some people feel that this is uh, th that you're just asking for a really low price, and here you're trying to get the highest uh, value for the, uh, the taxpayers. I would like to see the verbiage change there to the assessed value is four hundred twenty-eight thousand. Right. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Do we need to vote on that, or no? no that's, that's, that's a discussion. Okay. So the deadline, we'll fill that in, we'll get more information. Yep. Um, the next town meeting this will go to will be annual town meeting. Okay. Page I'm on page three. Um, there's some other, so my next comment is the contract will be awarded. So we'll actually execute a purchase and sale agreement first, will we not? Mm -hmm. So there won't there'll be a purchase and sale agreement, and we'll say we'll negotiate that within. We have to know days. So, yeah, it's either it's thirty days is kind 45? of where that seems quite forty five. Forty five. How sixty? I was thinking sixty. Well, let's not drag this out. No, but you know you get lawyers involved. They say yeah. yeah, yeah. Forty five. <laughs> Is good. Well, let's, let's reach out to an impartial lawyer in the audience. <laughs> Would 60 days be a good bit number? I think 60 days is probably more than you need, but it's not bad to put it outside limit on. 45. 45 60 days. Is, is 60. Good, right? So the, the actual provision here 60. is 30 days with an option to extend for an additional 45 days. So you have 75 days here. Well, let's not do 60 then. Okay, so leave it at 30 and then leave the option. But this is for the purchase and sale agreement. Purchase and sale agreement, yeah. right. Oh, wait, it's coming, you know. So, the, page four, my only question is down here, at the next to last paragraph. The proposal price shall be, prices submitted shall remain firm until the purchase and sale is signed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because once we sign that, we're locked in, and then we can only break that based on what we agree to in the purchase and sale. Good idea. And then, um, and then we have to change the minimum proposal price right. on page five. The assess value. Right, can we just change that to the assess value? Mm -hmm. And then we come to the real can, meeting. Can that come out once it's been addressed initially? Does it need to go in there a second time? No, but it's always nice to have a little redundancy in here because uh, people sometimes don't read these things as closely as you hope. 
Okay, so evaluation criteria. This is where we need to come up with some criteria. There were some criteria that were the municipal. Well, did you did you do on the property um, description or the layout? Is it is are we going to include that whole piece of property? Well, that's one of the questions. What is what is what are you willing to sell? Uh, is it the, the building? Is it the grounds? The whole the whole, the whole thing. Spiel. Um, uh, you do have a letter that uh, was just received mm -hmm. today uh, saying that there is... I didn't read it. There's a person interested, or a group interested. Yeah, there's interested. a group that's interested in the yeah. property, either whole or part. So the property description, I think, should stay the same. Mm -hmm. I think what we should do is in the evaluation criteria, that's where we should talk about whole parcel, parcel, pro parcel, and so forth. So the Municipal Building Committee actually came up with some criteria. There were about five of them they had, which were actually pretty good. Um, so one, one is asking for the whole parcel. Mm -hmm. One is asking for the, the building and leaving other pieces off. Mm -hmm. um, so those are things we can, you know, the most advantageous, according to the people who met with the, the Municipal Building Committee, would be someone who uses the building and mm -hmm. takes the building and leaves as much of the vacant lot as vacant possible. lot as possible. Mm -hmm. That was their most advantageous. Mm -hmm. um, so do we want to continue in that vein? With the loss of the other property uh, or th that we're not going for the other piece of property in North Adley that our RFI was on there, was done for. Um, do we have a backup plan for a North Hadley fire station? Right now, no. Okay. Not that. Nor no. do we have a site requirement for it yet either. No, and we don't have a back. Uh, we haven't been interested in a plan yet for the mm -hmm. park and rec either. Okay. Okay. How much interest was there, and what piece of parcel was? was requested by other parties. Is, is some people have come forward to us, sent us a letter that said that they were interested. What did that letter say? What did the letter say, for a record? For the record, uh, it said, thank you for sharing the draft RFP of the North Hadley Village Hall. We are sure that the board will issue a final RFP that is in the best interest of the town and its residents. Briefly, we wanted to share the church's interest in the property first. The church is interested in working with the property to maintain the village hall and land as a community and neighborhood asset. The church would seek partners to come up with appropriate uses and a maintenance plan. We share the town's interest in preservation and retaining the property as a village focal point. So for the record, there's people interested in the entire property. So yes. as we list the criteria currently now, well, it goes on. Go on yeah. It goes on to say, should uh, skipping a bit, the second should a grander plan not be feasible, the church would like to make the town aware that the church is interested in purchasing a portion of the field if division is possible. This would be used for extended parking and open space. Okay, thank you. So now, just so everybody knows who's listening on TV, because the draft RFP was in our packet last week, this is. A public document now that we're working off of even though it's an rfp it's mm -hmm. it's a public document because we put it in our book this way um, so anyone could ask for it anyone can see it anyone can get it as the draft and then when we formalize it and issue it it'll go out as the final rfp just so people don't think we're sending these out to individuals that we know might be interested mm -hmm. uh, it was in our book last week and it is a public, public document, document. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. as a draft Okay, so now let's go back to the evaluation of the criteria that have been submitted to you by the Buildings Committee. Yes. Please. And I actually thought they were in here, but I missed, didn't bring them. So the biggest things they have is um, use of the property, all, none, or all, part, or um, some combination thereof. Um, so that would be one evaluation criteria where we'd say, you know, if we could save the, because most of the people in North Hadley and the, when they were talking to the building committee, they wanted to keep part of the open space. So we can set 
the first we can set the first criteria as uses and how they use it. Mm -hmm. So if the use is that it stays the building and there's a use that's that's compatible with zoning and all that in there, and then they keep the open space of the open space as much as they can, and then mm -hmm. if there's some parking in there, that's fine. We can say that's the most advantageous because mm -hmm. one, that meets our requirement that we, you know, keep some open space, and two, we don't have to take care of the building anymore. Which not taking care of the building is our biggest requirement. Mm -hmm. And then protecting the historic preservation is a second. So as I'm talking to you and people think I'm rambling, I'm now remembering the criteria that building committee actually put forward. Use was the first one. Second was his, maintain the historic preservation. Um, third, third criteria was whether they needed the whole parcel or part of the parcel with their use. And then they kind of came down to the, the price. I think there was only four they had. Do you remember, Mr. No, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, as I listen to you, my memory will be refreshed. Yeah, and I apologize for not bringing it. Um, I thought I saw it in here. Um, so that's that's kind of what we would set up for the criteria. Mm -hmm. And then so most advantageous would be you use the parcel, it meets those criteria. And then the next one would be you can meet the historic preservation restrictions on the building. And then the third one would be Apart. All apart, and then the fourth one would be price if we want to choose price. Mm -hmm. um, so that means that this is a proposal, so it's not solely dedicated on the price. Yeah. That makes awfully good sense under the circumstances to break it out that way. So actually, I'll take the building committee's uh, criteria they put together and email it to everybody, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you can review it, and then we'll integrate it in. Um, so that would take care of the evaluation criteria. Um, deposit. I think there's it's like a five thousand dollar deposit on a piece of property. I've seen. I think there's a set number. Five percent, isn't it? I mean, I'm, mm -hmm. uh, no. no, like if you if you're back in the house, you have to put like five hundred dollars down in the house. Yes, on the, under some procurement law, there is a deposit, and it's a certain percentage of the total value, but not under 30B. Um, so that's why I put that question mark in there. Is do we want to do it? It's not required under this particular section of the law. It seems that we want some sort of good faith. I would think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so what's that? Five thousand seems reasonable. Well, Say someone meets all our criteria and they're offering prices only a dollar, you're going to make a $5,000 bid? Yeah. yeah. On. 25? You guys are right. 2,500? 2,500? Yeah, it needs to be something. 2,500? Mm -hmm. 2,500. Okay. Alright. And then the next. Next town meeting date change. Well, no, the next thing we need to get rid of the best price rules. Yeah, you need to rewrite the rule for award. I've, I just did it as a based on the criteria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. I'll have to rewrite that. Then, Do you weight the criteria? Yes. Okay. Yeah, most advantageous, advantageous, not aven or neutral, and then not advantageous. Or maybe neutral doesn't mean okay. Advantage. For devil's advocate, if three of the four criteria are met, is that, or it's always. You, we have to decide whether we'll, we'll have the review committee when they get them. They'll okay. look at them and say it was most advantageous, advantageous, not advantageous. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of balance it out. If one proposal has all four most advantageous and no one else has that, then that's probably your best proposal. Yep. And that's the one we'll probably go with. All right, checklist. Okay. Um, and then rule of award, highest price goes out again. Yeah, so this has to be rewritten because I'd rather yeah. have a high bid. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. And then on the checklist, the appraised value, of this is all that has to be changed. <clears throat> yep. And the deposit, we have it. And then, do we want to weigh in on any of the historic stuff? I get a no from one end of the table. Do we, have one? we want to weigh in on any of the comments of, this, of the historic preservation restrictions. Okay. So I will send everybody a copy of the building committee's criteria. Yes. 
Once I get that, I'll uh, rewrite this draft. It's been more than a year since I worked on this, so. All right. Okay. So is there anyone who has any other comments about our RFP process for North Alley Hall? No. Good. Going once, twice, gone. Okay. No, that's a story from the church. Yeah, story back to Okay, so we'll just go back to number one. Number two, we need to make assignments for town meeting. Um, we have we voted our position on all of them, including the layouts of the road. Uh, no, you haven't. So, do we wish to take a position on Article Number Nine and Number Ten, which is the acceptance of Laurel and Holly Road? I would make a motion on Number Nine, Laurel Drive acceptance at this point. Okay. Second. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 We'll wait for Holly for next meeting. Yeah, I don't see how we could vote on that until we. Yeah. Okay, so we've done everything but number 10 now, right? Correct, Bridget? Yes, I believe so. And again, simple or two thirds on those, David? Uh, I, Joel and I are going back and forth on that one. I think it's thirds. a uh, okay. simple. Simple? Is it simple? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. simple. Because it hasn't been simple. Yeah. Yeah, anything but simple. Okay, so article number one. One. <coughs> Who wants oh. to speak to it? Does anybody have a preference on what, what they want to speak to? No, I'll be, I can do either or both, whatever. Okay. I didn't know if David was going to speak to those. Don't you know I did a budget once? I'd be happy to do that if that's the wish of the board. Well, I'm just, I mean, in past practice, what have we done? Uh, usually, uh, any budget issues uh, come fall to me. Okay. okay. Is everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your name, David? So I'm doing one, one and two. One two. Mm -hmm. All right. HPAT? Yeah. Requirement. Uh, I guess I'll do that one. Four and five, I'll do. Okay. Well, we're on uh, four, on five rather. Capital committee did make a couple of changes to uh, two of the items on the capital stabilization expenses. One was for the um, split AC for the library. Uh, the library asked to switch that out for a roof guard for two thousand dollars less. Uh, and the other is a reduced price on the server room from 29.9 to 25.9. So those are the two changes that that'll be explained to the voters and we'll handle that in the motion. Okay. In the library, the, the air conditioning units in the article? Has yes. been removed. And so they've asked, they've asked for that to be with deferred in favor of the snow guard. Okay, but that was in, we voted the air conditioning yes. in. Okay, yeah. and then we're taking it out and replacing. Okay, good. Okay. okay. Um, uh, I can do the sewer and uh, water if you want. You want water and sewer both? Or one of whatever. Sure. Two. They're small. They're small. Yeah. I can do the next two. Okay. Who wants to do Holly then? Let's give it to John. Who wants to do Holly? I vote for John. Does he have a conflict of interest there? Probably. I'll do Holly. I don't mind doing Holly. Wherever it winds up, I will do Holly. Don't it's yours. Uh, okay. Park and Rec Revolving Fund. Do you want? I'll do it. Okay. I'll do Russell School Stabilization. Or are you leaving that for? We Municipal should do that. Building Committee. 
Um, so somebody on the Sir Divine can talk to that. Yeah, yeah. Sir Divine. Ooh, Jerry. Jerry. It's so formal. She's looking for my father. <laughs> I do that too. That's the other thing. day in Sunderland. I didn't see him here. Okay. Okay. So there you are. Okay. Okay. We're moving right along. Has, did John get any? I mean, I don't really want to short him either. Well, we'll, we'll give him one a couple yeah. when he shows up. If he shows up between now and the, meet, or the next meeting. I don't think he wants to look Wednesday? like he. Yeah. We do have a meeting before that. Should be a very short meeting. Next Wednesday? On the 21st or the night of? The 21st? night before. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Wednesday, Wednesday we have a meeting, correct? Well, that's for you to decide tonight uh, under we were business scheduled. number two. You okay. are scheduled for it. I do have a couple of items there. Okay. But we could also just have a meeting at 6 o'clock before town meeting. That would be fine, too. All right, when we get to that, we'll talk about that. All right. All right. Weights and measures. So, Northampton, we were supposed to get some more information about what would be to use the state. So we talked to uh, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Division of uh, Standards, uh, and they are willing but unable to help us out. Uh, they uh, currently do not have staff in this area, uh, so they recommended going with an intermunicipal agreement. Uh, so moved. So my recommendation is that we uh, get, enter into a intermunicipal agreement right now because our uh, vendors are getting uh, uh, cited for not having this uh, properly sealed uh, uh, weights and measure. Second. Second. All right, any more discussion? And then we, uh, and then in the summertime we revisit this issue and see if we can't get the uh, Commonwealth to resume. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a one, one year agreement, correct? Right. right. Yeah. Okay. All the, actually it's less than one year, it's only the remainder of this year. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. All right. All right, Minister of Goals and Objectives. So it was asked to add some uh, additional dates to the goals and objectives. There's obviously been a big change in our accounting uh, services here with uh, Gail getting a uh, job in Orange. We've, we've hired uh, Bay State uh, Municipal Accounting Group to take over. They can do some functions that, uh, that um, Gail was not able to. Specifically, they're, they're trained to invade our reporting, and that was one of the, the goals and objectives is that Gail and I would go out to invade our headquarters and receive additional training. That can now be done on site, and, uh, and we don't have to wait for that. Um, so I, I've uh, been working with Ms. Keegan to come up with uh, something that uh, would have a little bit more specificity in terms of the goals and objectives. Uh, I think you had you asked me for additional dates, right. which I'm happy to work with you. Time. So uh, I recommend that we sign this tonight and that, uh, that I uh, report back the, the, any amendments that we uh, agree upon. And then there was just one minor change, which was under financial reporting on number three that um, the provision of regular quarterly statements would also include analysis. Okay. Is there any more discussion? Yeah. I, 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 um, I think I talked about in my uh, discussion regarding it that I wanted our, uh, to see if we could get a kinder and gentler administrative office. Um, and I think that we just need to change the perception they did and, and do a better job of helping the public when when they come in and they ask us for help, whether it's with Warren articles or uh, meeting with committee chairs to find some common ground with CPA, historical. Um, let's try to find the, the differences that we have with committees and mediate them. And I think that's a, a very important because we're, we're starting to lose volunteers uh, to a critical level. And I think we need to do something to, to amend that and to make everybody's job that comes in a town hall less frustrating if you need to come in and draft an article i think we need to do whether you like the article hate the article whatever it is let's just let's work and drop and do the best thing that we can to help those people um to get that done and uh, i think that's going to help us um uh, with uh, with our volunteer issue that we have hey jerry uh, yeah just in along that line um the way that we have the performance review laid out there, there are the um, kind of core deliverable, core qualities or whatever that we expect in the position. 
and then there are the very specific um, project, more project-oriented goals. So I'm just wondering. I think I, I agree with you, I, but I think what you're getting at is already covered under the top section. Know how the review was broken up into those two parts? Are you are you asking to have a specific I'm having goal? an objective because I don't know how we would measure that. Is my concern. So. So that that think goes in the first part, which actually isn't in here right now, is it? No, and it wouldn't be because this is just the agreement on the, yes. the four or five additional goals to showing up and doing a good job every day. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the big communication skills, the stuff that was up above. I'm sorry I don't have a copy of the review with me, but you, you know what I'm talking about because we all did the... Mm -hmm. So we actually... We want to approve this piece and then bring that piece back to the next meeting and then go through that and add that on? Sure. That, yeah, I think that, that would be, be good. Accept, sir, or yeah. acceptable. I understand what Mr. Yeah. Vines asked for more. Okay. Because there were bullets under there and we yep. may want to go through those bullets to get to some of the comments that we did have. Yep. Right. Okay. But I think we should make it clear too that, you know, the, the town administrator and the assistant um, administrator, the Administrative assistant. Administrative assistant have, you know, certain jobs and duties that they can do, and you know, just at the drop of a whim, that you know, I I know that I have heard that they're very positive and helpful when people do come into town hall. Um, that their workload is as such, I think sometimes that you, they can't always do it right then and there, and I know that they'll usually get back to people, but we're you know, sometimes in the middle of a crunch when we're trying to get the budget uh, out at this point, it's, it's hard to um, do everything. And I do agree with communication with other departments and, and things like that, that, you know, that is a point, you know, important for us to do. Communication always is uh, at the top of the list for us. Um, but I, I think you need, to, people need to understand too that there are certain work that needs to be done at certain times of the year too. So we'll bring that back. We'll bring that section back, yeah. and we'll put it on this section for okay. Perfectly right. acceptable. Yep. All right. And I think it's actually going to be a good conversation about workload. Yep. We do need to talk about workload. Mm -hmm. All right. So is there a motion to accept this part of the specific goals and objectives? So moved. I'll second. Any more discussion? No. Nope. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. New business number one. We've been asked to do a letter of support from the great sale of Charter to Time Warner. Again. Richard? You All the way around, Charter's buying uh, Time Warner. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that we were going to stay where we were, though. Pardon me? I was kind of hoping we were going to stay with Charter and not go to Time Warner. We're staying with Charter. Oh, we are? Yeah. It's Charter that's taking over Time Warner. So we're not, we're not trading customers no, anymore? No. No. no more customer trading? No. What happened to Comcast? Comcast deal fell apart. They right? pulled out of their yeah. deal of merging with uh, Time Warner. I was going to say, I thought the other one was merging with Time Warner. So okay. this is just a... So do we need to provide a letter of support? No, or can we just do, do we need to do a letter of support? Richard. Richard. Me? Yes. Do we need to do um, a letter of support? Waste of our so time. Select so, board. It's up to you. So my recommendation is, is that at some point we need to uh, draw a line between these international acquisitions uh, and local policy. Uh, and I think you clearly are overreaching what the townspeople expect of us by talking about whether you like or dislike a merger which you would need a room full of Philadelphia lawyers to understand. So I'm saying. <laughs> Don't write the letter. Okay. okay. Right there with you. Skip it over. Yeah. All right. Calendar. So calendar. So we have the calendars proposed. So we were going. We did have a meeting scheduled for next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, the twenty-first. So is that Todd Ford coming in? Yeah, Todd Ford is scheduled to come in. Uh, and we have the the roof contracts for the roof contracts. For the garage roofs to sign that that evening. Um, Todd Ford is. Todd Ford is the Kelsey executive Chicago. director of the H. This is the whole aggregation thing that blew oh, up. Right. 
yeah. services are we getting now? And all yeah, that they're stuff. out of that aggregation business. Right. They dropped that. So. That's so the second part. What services are we what, getting what now? What services are you getting for your fourth? What else do we have on the agenda? That's it? That's it. Uh, the garage, the roof for the garage, so and then, goals and objectives. Could we do that at 6 o'clock on um, Thursday? It's fine by me. Why don't we see if you can come at 6 and we'll not have a meeting on the 21st? <laughs> Sounds good. So, not meeting on the 21st? Right. No. 6 o'clock on the 22nd, we'll post. Okay. So, our tri board. <laughs> we still have the names of the boards. <laughs> So that, why don't we meet at six o'clock on the fourth, just to make sure we get our our rest of the town um, organization through their SWAT presentations. Okay, and that's the week that I'm gone. Are you okay with that? Yep. Okay. That's that's part of why I was asking if we could see at least the schools up in front. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, so actually, I may not be at this meeting either. I have to work that night, I think. Work. Yeah. Well, unless Amherst can do a one night town meeting. Oh, you do a town meeting too? Yeah, they're doing it on the 11th, on the 2nd. So maybe they can do one night and be done with it. They have a really small agenda too. So Should we change it to the 11th? Or we can't because that's, is that Veterans Day? That's Veterans, that's veterans Day. So you do have the tax classification hearing uh, scheduled for the 4th. And that's kind of another do or die. Proposition. We can go with it. Just make sure John's here that night. Yeah. Um, I'll be here. I'll be here. Okay. We'll check with. You. So we'll schedule that. And if you can come, Gilbert, you can come. Yeah, I will. Come from. We'll be. Yeah. Okay. Accept the streets in Amherst. No, we don't accept streets in Amherst. Um. So okay. So the eleven eighteen is the budget discussion. So if we don't have too much for tri board at six o'clock, we can go right into our own. Yes, the meeting. agenda. On agenda, okay. Uh, so what meeting starting at six? The eighteenth. The fourth. The fourth. The fourth. Okay. November fourth. And then the eighteenth. Uh, but but a truly, it won't probably be a tri board. It'll probably be a SWAT of the three departments left to be done. Yes. Correct. And anybody else? By you know, they're so certainly welcome to attend. Uh, the school is unable, well, we're not able to make the meeting on the 3rd because everybody's going to be at other things, but I, I doubt the school will be here on the 4th. Mm -hmm. And if they could send us their SWAT for the 4th, at least we could yeah. have that in hand. Well, well, could we look at doing that on the 18th? The SWAT? Schools. The schools. schools, sure. I'll ask them. It, 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 I'd like to offer something to them as an alternative to, to what and explain mm -hmm. why we can't make it. I mean, what are they doing on the fourth? The third. Thought they were unable to make it on the fourth. No, they have their SWOT analysis they were doing on the second for yeah. their own school committee meeting. They wanted us to I go, understand. go to their yeah, meeting on the second. second. Okay, so then we're gonna have two meetings in November, the fourth and the 18th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our three meetings lined up for the so, December. Mm -hmm. Three. Yep, yep, the second, ninth, and 16th. Um, and if we continue with the tri board, it'd be the ninth would be the tri board. We have three meetings for the January, the sixth, thirteenth, and twentieth. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. So, question: um, David and I spent some time together this week looking at the five-year projection and looking at that David was offering some new information about some of the numbers because it's been a while, obviously, since that was put together. Mm -hmm. Would the 18th be a time to, the November 18th meeting be a time when we could be addressing that? Yeah. Budget discussions already. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It'd be yeah. a great time. Because I think there are, you know, again, some fairly significant things that we just need to deal with up front. Okay, all right. That's good. We're good with that, yes. Right. All right, so that's our schedule. And then we need to talk about the municipal annual meeting. Mm -hmm. I go. Yep. Do you want to go? I do. All right. Uh, well, so I haven't missed one. To. All right. Mm -hmm. And Jerry, I got to vote last year, so do you want to be the voter this year? No. Yes, I'd love to. <laughs> so we have two going? Yes. yes. All right. 
so we'll start working with uh, you to set up hotels and times and so forth. Okay. So, we're at the point of the meeting where we ask if there's any announcements. We have a couple of announcements this evening. On Sunday, uh, October 18th, uh, Kestrel Trust, Land Trust, is having the 5K run on the common, just to let everybody know about that. Anybody with any questions, feel please feel free to call 549-1097 uh, and ask for any help. That's Christian DeBoer's number. Okay. Also, North Hadley Sugar Shack, the annual tractor parade is this weekend. Um, it's the Pumpkin Festival, actually. Beginning Saturday, October 17th, 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock with the grandiose tractor parade at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. If you can't make it down to the Sugar Shack, uh, I think everybody knows the route by now. Runs down 47 up Huntington Road across Breckenridge all the way down to uh, uh, North Hat North Maple Street uh, down Stockbridge Road. Oh, I'm sorry, cuts back, uh, cuts back towards the Sugar Shack and ends at the Sugar Shack. Usually gets back there about an hour and a half after it starts. Usually about between 75 and 100 tractors they always have. Please, uh, if you can, attend it. Anything else? Okay, so we have one more item of business in executive session. Does someone wish to make a motion? I'll make a motion to adjourn our regular session and go into executive session for the purpose of litigation. Roll call, call vote, Devine? Yes. Maureen? Yes. John Glow? Yes. Stephen? Yes. As chair of the Halley Select Board, I state that the board has moved and seconded, seconded to enter into executive session. I state that the discussion of the matter in open session would have an adverse effect on the town of Hadley. We will not reconvene after this executive session. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night.